Welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial we are going to break down how to turn any object into the paper transition. For this tutorial I'll be using assets from our paper project and I decided that I can leave them below this video absolutely for free. Just download and use them. If this is your first time here, my name is Dima from Studio Znak. I create all kinds of helpful tutorials I guess and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos and let's jump into the tutorial so i'm ready in after effects and i've already added the country clip to the timeline let's create the first transition just like in our example you can really use this paper transition anywhere and for anything this method works great for any moment in your clip let's quickly make our first transition Move one frame forward and split the layer. Now go to the beginning and select our bottom layer. Right click, then go to time and choose freeze frame. Now we have a static first frame. I'll just make the layer longer by a few frames. Select the pen tool and start outlining any area in your clip. I'll simply choose the benches and our two characters. Start outlining and you can do it roughly without being too precise here. This is a paper effect and we are trying to emulate a real cutout paper. So it's actually better if the edges uh, some sharpen. Once everything is ready, duplicate the layer on the bottom layer at the simple choker effect. Set the choke mate to minus 58. Then look for fill effect and edit. Then choose white color. Then add the rough and edges effect, set border to 24, sharpness to 7 and scale to 54. Copy the rough and edges effect from the bottom layer and paste it onto the top layer. Add the paper texture from our paper pack on top. Copy the top cutout layer and place it above the paper. For organization I just rename our layer and call it mask. Then for our paper layer in trackmate choose the mask layer. Then look for the invert effect and add it to the paper. Now set the blending mode to screen. You can also add the curves effect to adjust the paper contrast and make it more or less visible. I'll set the curve like this one. Select everything, right click and then pre-compose. Name it something like uh, Fold 1. Select the pen tool again and start creating a frame by frame reveal animation from top to bottom. But you can do it in different directions like uh, invert like from bottom to top and so on. Press M on the keyboard and open mask settings and set the first keyframe for mask path. Then move 4 frames forward and simply uh, drag the points on top. Do this every 4 frames until your cutout area is fully visible. I'll make a total of uh, 5 frames. For me that's not too fast and not too slow, it's just the perfect uh, for me. Select all keyframes, right click and choose toggle hold keyframes. Now you can go through the frames and move the points as you like. Next let's create the back side of the paper, create a new composition and call it unfold1. In this composition add our fold1 composition and below it add the paper texture. For the paper in trackmate select fold1. Go back to the main composition and add our unfold1 composition above fold1. Press M on the keyboard and copy the mask. Now paste it onto our unfold1 layer. But here is a very important thing to choose the invert for the mask in our unfold1 composition. Select the backside paper layer, right click, then go to transform and choose flip horizontal. And also do the same steps for flip vertical. Now we need to animate our backside paper for position every 4 frames. You can control each point in the mask to get a better result and to make it look like a real unfolding paper. On the last keyframe of the animation, simply trim the backside paper layer and delete it. Select all position keyframes and also choose toggle hold keyframes. Now our animation is fully ready, let's add some more effects. Select the top layer and add the drop shadow effect. Set the opacity to 100, distance to 0 and softness to about 180. 
Copy the drop shadow effect and paste it onto the bottom layer. Add scratches paper underneath our transition. Look for curves effect and edit. Here you can adjust the curves however you like. I'll set it like this for the tutorial. Create an adjustment layer. I want to create a light effect and add a shake effect to make our transition more interesting. I'll keep it short, move 3 frames left and 3 frames to right and trim the adjustment layer. Then add the brightness and contrast effect. Set the first keyframe for brightness in the center to 150 and at the edges set it to 0. Look for the transform effect and edit. Set scale to 102, click on stop watching your position with Alt or Option if you're on Mac and write this expression for the shake effect. Create another adjustment layer and place it below the shake effect. Let's add the transform effect. Now just create a zoom animation with scale, set the first keyframe at the beginning of the transition and then go to the end and set it to 105. And our first transition is ready. That was a very easy and simple and it only took a few minutes. I really like a paper transition and I think this method truly captures the look of real animated paper transition or collages. Let's move on to the second part of our transition. I'll do the same steps as we did for the first transition. I just want to show you that this transition method fits any object and it's really easy to do it. Move one frame forward and split the layer. This is our second frame from Kendrick's clip. Right click and add freeze frame. Move our static frame to the left and make the layer longer. Just like for the first transition, select the pen tool and start outlining our object. I also do it roughly so the edges aren't uh, too precise. And trust me, the result will be better this way. Duplicate the cutout object on the bottom layer, add the simple choker effect. Set chalk mate to minus 58, then add the fill effect and choose white color. And let's add the rough and edges effect. Set border to 24, sharpness to 7 and scale to 54. Copy the rough and edges effect and paste it onto the top layer. Add the paper text on top. Duplicate the top cutout layer of our object and place it above the paper. For the paper and track mate, select the mask layer. I also rename our layer for organization and call it just as we did for the first transition and call I call it mask. Look for invert effect and let's add it to the paper layer. Set the blending mode to screen. Now let's add the curious effect. You can set the curve like mine or play with it to get the best visibility of the paper for your case. Select everything and pre-compose. I'll call it Fold 2. Now we can create frame by frame animation as we did for the first transition from bottom to top, but you can do it from any directions. Select the pen tool and start from the bottom. Create a mask at the bottom, I'll just make a simple line. Now every 4 frames, move the mask up. Select the points and just move them. I'll make the appearance of our object in 6 frames. You can make the animation shorter or longer. Select all the keyframes, then right click and choose toggle hold keyframes. Now let's create the back side of the paper just like we did for the first transition. Create a new composition and call it unfold2. And this composition at our fold2 and under this layer at the paper texture. For paper in track made, select fold2. So go back to the main composition and add unfold2 composition to the timeline above the fold2 layer. Copy the mask keyframes from the uh, fold layer and paste them into unfold layer. And here is a very important part to choose inverting the mask settings. Right click, go to transform and choose flip vertical. And do the same steps for flip horizontal. Now we need to animate backside of the paper by position every 4 frames. I try to be precise here so the edges match and the animation looks more realistic. On the last keyframe I just simply trim the backside paper. Select the position keyframes and right click, then choose toggle hold keyframes. We already have a cool result, but let's add more effects like we did for first transition. 
add the drop shadow effect to the top layer, set distance to 0, softness to 180 and opacity to 100, copy the drop shadow effect and paste it onto the bottom layer, split the bottom layer of our clip that's under the cutout object, right click, go to time and choose freeze frame. Now just copy the adjustment layer where we made the shake and light effect and paste it at the beginning of the transition and also do it for the end of our transition. Add the scratches texture under our cutout object, set the blending mode to screen, then you can add a curves effect and I'll just lower the curve and set it like this. You can follow me or create your own version. Now I'll just duplicate the adjustment layer where we had the basic scale animation. I also place it under our shake effect. I'll make the animation longer and set the last keyframe at the end of the transition and also make the adjustment layer itself longer. Let's change the scale value and I'll set the last keyframe to 110 to make the zoom stronger. And we got this transition. I think it turned out very cool and universal you can really make a transition from any object in your clip it could be a house a phone face it doesn't matter anything at all can be a transition and that's insanely cool all the materials i used in this video you can find in our description below this video they are absolutely for free so use them for your transition if you want to get a full pack of different paper assets and more, I highly recommend our paper project. It's called Premium Paper Toolkit. There you can find over 200 different assets like transitions, textures, overlays, pinges and so on. I leave a link to this project below this video and also on our website you can find a large library of different and useful projects for your work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments, it really helps us to make more tutorials. See you in the next time, good luck!